I'm just an ordinary person who, you know, I saw something wrong and, and I rolled up my sleeves and I tried to do something. And uh, that's, that's all you can say about me. And I think uh, that's what people have to do, you know. And so I think it's a continual journey, this openness of consciousness. And, and if people are not on, on a, some kind of journey of discovery, uh, I mean, they better pinch themselves and see if they're alive. I'm still, I'm still looking, you know, I'm still learning. David Kirk walks upon the same road as the hungry, the afflicted, the tormented, the homeless. It is a road that most of us believe is far removed from the course of our lives, and maybe it is. But another possibility is that David Kirk journeys down precisely the same road that all of us journey down, except he has perceptual courage, the courage to see suffering, the courage to risk, to see the suffering of the human being, not only with the eyes of his head, but with the eyes of his heart. The courage to see the suffering stranger as one member of a family would see the sufferings of another member of the family. And so perhaps the difference between David Kirk and us is not so great. Perhaps we walk down the same road and what appears to be a difference is only that we are unwilling to see the obvious the suffering stranger, a member of the family, trapped in a furnace of agony. This is